have here with us this afternoon the newly appointed Minister of Land, Dr. Turab Senesi. You may recall that President Biohu has appointed Dr. Turab Senesi as the country's new Minister of Lands, Housing and Country Planning. And that appointment was done in January 2021. Prior to his appointment, he was the Deputy Minister of Technical and Higher Education. Dr. Sandi replaced, sorry, Dr. Turad Senesi replaced Dr. Dennis Sandi. As a new lands minister, he's charged with the responsibility of management of lands in Sierra Leone. His ministry is expected to direct the government on matters related to ownership, acquisition, and the use of land. The ministry is also required to set up policies on the efficient and sustainable use of land. Well, Dr. Senesi, like I mentioned, is a new man at the helm of affairs, and he's here with us this afternoon to tell us his plans, you know, as to where he wants to take the ministry. Dr. Sen Dr. Thank you very much, Madam Mabadi Lube. Good afternoon, members of the Fort Estate. Let me also take this opportunity to say good afternoon again to other members of the Ministry of Lands, Housing and uh, Country Planning. You know, I'm used to this Ministry of Technical and Higher Education. <laughs> so <laughs> I was about to say technical. <laughs> Nonetheless, I'll have to readjust, you know. <laughs> when you find yourself in a different environment, you have to also adapt to the vocabulary associated with that environment. So let me take this opportunity to thank members of the press for the good job done so far in informing the people of Sierra Leone about programs implemented so far by the Bureau-led government. This is actually my first engagement with members of the Fort Estate after my appointment as Minister of Lands, Housing and Country Planning. And I'm happy to be in your midst, and I wish to join you in partnership of providing accurate and timely information whenever the need arises for the good of all Sierra Leoneans. The Bureau-led regime, we all know, is under tremendous pressure from the people of Sierra Leone, especially the press, for quality service delivery. We do appreciate you all for the sustained pressure on us, and be rest assured, we will get this job done. This job is going to be done. The Minister of Lands, Housing and Country Planning has a huge task of land administration and management, provide affordable housing, and ensure that there is proper town and city planning. For decades, we've not been able to identify the trajectory, and we've not been able to efficiently and effectively achieve any of the three components <coughs> of this ministry government in, government out. Our focus has been on land allocation, especially for Western area with little or no planning. Neither work towards affordable housing for low and middle income class. I believe as a new Minister of Lands, Housing and Country Planning, there has to be a change of approach and a discharge of our duties as a ministry. In doing so, government will now focus on country planning and affordable housing as a priority and land allocation secondary. In order to meet the timely expectations, expectations of the public, internally I intend separating the Directorate of Housing and Country Planning into two separate directorates. Directorate of Country Planning and the Directorate of Housing. 
the Directorate of Country Planning will be changed, will be charged, among others, with the following responsibilities. To develop and review Town and Country Planning Act, so that we are able to control and regulate town and urban planning. We want to also establish an urban design unit. We want to also establish a country planning and district planning committees initiate a holistic development plan, including structure and local plans, and conduct research to town and country planning matters. We want to ensure that whatever our decisions are must be informed with respect to the output of our research activities. So the Directorate of Housing will now be focused on working with partners to build affordable housing around the country for low and middle income earners. We want to envision the modernization of our towns and cities to replace those derelict and shanty communities that we find around our towns and of course the cities across the country. We want to encourage the setting up of home finance institutions. We want to encourage large-scale production of local materials to help our people. We want to work with Sierra Leoneans and, of course, other partners and institutions, especially that of the Housing Corporation, to improve on service delivery. We want to facilitate access to credit for building and mortgage for low- and middle-income earners. We want to encourage also the creation of green space and unplugged car parking and encourage private investors to build toilets, bathing facilities, and multi-story car parks in our urban cities. So the Directorate of Housing will now be charged with that particular responsibility so that we have timely delivery with respect to the agenda of this present government. We want to create land banks for investment and national development. It is sad to report that as a country, there is no land bank, as I'm speaking to you, members of the Fourth State. So as a ministry, Surveys and Lands Directorate has now been tasked to work with the communities, stakeholders, and parliaments to secure land and create a land bank for investment and other national development. The reason is to ensure that we provide a space for large-scale investments in agriculture, manufacturing, and production. All these will help to create jobs and support economic growth. We have too many problems with respect to land ownership. So digitization of land title and deeds is going to also form part of the priority areas I'll be looking into together with my men in the ministry. In the Western area, land accounts for about just 1% of the total land available in Sierra Leone. Because of the scarcity of land or the supply of land, expensive rent, rent imposed by landlords and the upsurge in urbanization, the rush for land has increased. Thus, inviting state and non-state actors into the sale of piece of land to multiple players, multiple buyers with multiple documentations. This state of affairs has to has led to series of conflict over land ownership in communities. To correct such anomalies and other related crimes associated with land allocation and ownership, the ministry is going to pursue digitization of the entire system using robust and appropriate technology. Too many problems in the land sector. So we need to resolve all of those. So consultation with communities, tribal heads, organizations, and interest groups, these are all now in progress. I've been having lots and lots of consultations across the board. With major stakeholders, communities, and stakeholders and uh, community heads. 
existing conflicts over land allocation and ownership, they are not new to all of us here. Resolving those conflicts requires consultation, negotiation, and respect for our people. All prioritize consultation and negotiation and use demolition as a last resort. In order to ensure that we do not have a situation where we are forced to demolish, uh, demolish structures erected, the ministry will be empowering the planning directorate with the appropriate policy that will require landowners to have clearance from the planning directorate before commencing construction on a piece of land. Also, in order to restore peace and sanity in the allocation of lands, government has placed a moratorium on allocation and sale of state lands till further notice. A committee is now constituted and membership to the committee will be announced next week. The committee will immediately go into action to receive and investigate complaints over land ownership from April 2018 to January, January 2021. It is expected that the work of the committee will last for 30 days initially and submit reports and recommendations to government for action. Let me conclude that it is my belief that Sierra Leoneans want to see their towns and cities competing with other towns and cities around the globe. We can do this if we are all ready to just do some amount of sacrifice and demonstrate some level of nationalism. This requires discipline, decency, and honesty. I call it the DDH model in terms of my approach to land administration, housing, and country planning. Let us all inculcate the habit of DDH and make our towns and cities the envy of sub-Saharan Africa. I thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.